Hi everybody, session four, artistic development. And I just love everything you're posting so far. We're, we're still in the young preschool uh, ages of development. And um, we're, for this week, we're gonna be talking about uh, the exceptional learner, the special learner. And that goes from somebody who needs physical help with managing learning to mental capacity help to the very, very gifted learner. So when I say the exceptional learner and teachers dealing with kids in class or adults, we have to think of all of us being very specific learners who take things in a certain way. So um, that's where we're at this week and you're gonna be watching some videos. There is a young man who is on Facebook who broke it wide open for me um, about special learning. And his name is Connor DeWolf. And I'm gonna put the, the link up in our Moodle, but um, if you're not on Facebook, it's not a mandatory thing. I don't know if you can go on if you don't have a Facebook account. But I have a master's in special ed and I've been teaching for 41 years. And this young man blew it out of the water for me, as I said. I have never had a glimpse into the mind of someone trying to process as well as the glimpse he's given us. And uh, I'm going to give you the link to one video, but go into his profile and watch some of the videos. They not only talk about someone who has ADHD, they talk about you, they talk about me, they talk about my sisters and brother and and just how we process, how we think, how we not only take information in, but how we respond and how we're all very different doing that. And as a teacher, we have all these students in front of us trying to participate, but our brains and our way of taking in and giving back are all very, very different. So please look at Connor's work. I am just delighted I found him. I send his links all the time to everybody. And um, you may, in our discussion board this week, it does open up to the different articles and the different videos. You may want to put a link in there, some other person that you found on the web somewhere, could be anywhere, that really, whoa, that whoa moment, like I had no idea. I learned a lot about my own self in learning through uh, Connor's take on life and learning and just processing. So if you find something uh, in our discussion board this week, throw it in there. Make comments to your peers. You're gonna post by your first post by Sunday, and then you're gonna do your comment to two peers by next Tuesday night, and then next session starts next Wednesday. Um, I would like to get together with all of you next Thursday. I don't know the date, but I want to have a Zoom. You'll receive an email about that, but I think it's time for us to have another Zoom. They're not mandatory, so if you can join in uh, and share and ask questions, I think it's um, a great opportunity. This is a virtual class, so it, you're not graded if you make it or you don't make it. I always have to leave it optional. But I know for myself as a teacher, I feel disconnected unless I get to talk with you and get to hear you tell me your ideas, not only me reading through a discussion board. So next week, we'll have a Zoom. You'll find out more information about that. And keep in touch with me. Field work is um, happening. You have guidance through our Moodles. It's really very open-ended. You're taking notes, you're making observations, you're asking questions. Um, and it correlates to all that we're learning, but it's not week by week to go out and find that, or uh, it's not netted to all our subject uh, week by week. So I hope that um, you're having fun in the field. Doesn't end for this semester. Keep going and visiting different places, libraries, camps in the summer. Get to gather as much in your teaching basket as you can. So we'll see you next week. Happy Valentine's Day.